Hey, GearHeads, it's Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at the Fire Expo 2021 in Imolaki, Florida at the Force Center USA. That's the website. You can go get the information about this amazing facility. We've just escaped the maximum security prison, as far as you know, because we wanted to be outside for David from Maxim Defense to help you understand what the brand's about. You know, right. what are the scope of the products? What problems does Maxim Defense solve? Great. First, appreciate it. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Dave Larson with Maxim Defense. I head up the, the sales and marketing for the company. What we brought with us today is a cross section of the firearms that we have. We launched uh, our PDX in 2019, and then at SHOT Show 2020, we brought out the rest of the MDX line, or I should say the beginning of the MDX line. So uh, if you don't know Maxim, we started in about 2012, maybe 2011, uh, in the furniture business. That's kind of where everything started. So your stocks and your braces, okay? Right. And about 2013 is when the first uh, stock and brace hit the market, and that's when we started selling. As everybody knows, kind of the pistol brace, which this PDX is a pistol brace. Mm -hmm. In 2013, then it started to skyrocket a little bit, and that's where, that's realistically where we got, Maxim got its start from. In 2019, we came out and we launched uh, the, our PDX. This is 18.75 inches in overall length, and it has a five and a half inch barrel. So <clears throat> our mission and vision is to really focus in on providing the tools and the technology to help those that are in harm's way and help those that are defending our nation's freedoms, okay? Right. So there is, and there and there con continues to be, a need, if you look across, for um, something that is maneuverable with the, in the, PD, the PDW market space. And that's what the PDX was actually put there to, uh, um, to actually solve those specific problems. Um, our, we have a 508, this has an eight and a half inch uh, barrel, and this is our 510, which has a uh, 10.3 inch barrel. Mm -hmm. Our CQB, now these would be considered SBRs. Um, right. They are available um, in, in a pistol uh, format. All of Maxim's, um, <clears throat> all of our, uh, stocks and braces are rapid deployable. And you'll notice a couple of other little fine tuning details. One, our hate break, uh, 3 8 inch ratchet to, to take it off and it's timeable there. The same thing, we've removed a lot of the need for the armorer's tool. So on the, on the end here, we've got a 3 8 inch ratchet drive mm -hmm. to remove the buffer. So <clears throat> this one would be a pistol brace version uh, available in 7.62 by 39, 5.56 five, NATO and 300 blackout. Right, excellent. And then we brought uh, with ourselves today um, something that um, nobody has really seen uh, picture-wise. So this is our new, new um, it's a, our PDX. So this is a five and a half inch barrel. It, it's our new color, which is an urban gray. Um, and then also has on uh, our new suppressor. Nice. So in SBR format, 21 inches in overall length. So still uh, we're going after that short, we're going after that mid. The suppressor. Yes. Man. That's a pretty compact little package. Right. So what, who's this aimed at? What is the, the use case that you had in mind when this was put together? Right, so um, in a PDW, it's confined spaces, it's concealment, it's mobility. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what we were looking at. It's veteran designed, um, so we're really proud about that fact. 100% U.S. manufactured in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Nice. Um, but uh, the gentleman, uh, pretty much our lead designer at the time was a tanker. So um, the history of it really goes back to 2018 when SOCOM dropped a, a solicitation for a sub 19 inch, I'm sorry, sub 15 inch nine mil. So the first PDX that would right. have hit the market would have been a nine mil. From that point moving forward, we said, okay, you know, let's, let's get into the rifle calibers because the SCW um, stock and brace on here solves a lot of length issue. Right. So concealment, maneuverability, you know, imagine a school resource officer on the LE side having to go clear a high school that somebody just threw a rock through and you have a 16 and a quarter inch rifle that you're slinging around through yeah. thousands of yards yeah, of yeah. hallway. Um, this helps solve that, that, yeah. that problem of weight. Nice. Okay, well, we appreciate the quick overview of the company. Check back, we're gonna do another, we're gonna follow this one up with a, a deeper dive into, uh, we're gonna look at this one, right? We're gonna go with the... Yep. Uh, so my partner CJ will come over and CJ heads up our mill and LE side of the business, which is a huge major focus for us and be able to give you a lot better history around the whys and what we're doing today with this, um, and, you know, 
with these products on that side of the business. Excellent. Uh, all of these are available on the commercial side, so you can visit us at MaximDefense.com. Um, obviously, go into your local dealer, and they should hopefully have them. Yeah. Um, and uh, and you know, come see us on social at, at Maxim Defense. Okay, come back. We're gonna have CJ back in a moment. A minute. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see.